Hi there. We'll be checking out Enterprise Pro, a Notion template I created specifically for architecture firms. We'll be exploring four main areas, home, workspace, activities, and resources. Let's start with the workspace. This is where you can manage your tasks and projects effortlessly. First, on your homepage, click Workspace. Here, you'll find a few key sections, the Navigation section, Projects section, and a Tasks Overview section. Under the Navigation section, let's start with the team. This is where all the team members are listed. Each team member has their own page where they can view their assigned projects, tasks, and notebooks. Next, we have the Client Database. This section holds all your client information. When you open a client's page, you'll see all the projects associated with that client, keeping everything neatly organized. The remaining items under navigation include projects, tasks, notebooks, and documents. If you've made it this far, I'd like to invite you to join our newest online community, Notion for Architects on X, formerly known as Twitter. This space is tailored for architects like you. Share ideas, ask questions, get feedback, and connect with others using Notion in the architecture field. Together, we can learn, grow, and create smarter systems for our work. Scan the QR code on the screen or click the link in the description to join. Let's build this community together. Now. Let's dive back into the template and create a new project. Creating a new project. To start, click the plus new page button under the project's database. Open the page and wait for everything to load. Once inside, take the time to fill out the necessary details in the Properties section. These include Office, Team, Projected Due Date, Project Status, and Clients. As you scroll down, you'll notice a helpful checklist designed to guide your workflow. Design Checklist Section Within the Design Checklist section, you'll find two important parts. 1. The Design Phases Database, which helps you track your progress through each phase of the project. Be sure to update the status here regularly and sync it with the project page's status property. 2. The Checklist itself, which compiles essential tasks and milestones for each design phase. While the checklist offers a general guide, it's crucial to customize it for project-specific requirements. If your firm has a unique checklist for each phase, you can edit the template to reflect your standards. That way, every new project you create will follow your tailored workflow. Once you've filled out the team property in the project, this section will automatically populate with the relevant team members, saving you time and ensuring everyone stays informed. This section is a simplified, text-only area where you can input essential project details, such as the project title, budget, total lot area, and more. Using the design checklist as your guide, you can swiftly create tasks and schedule them in the calendar below.
Simply drag and drop tasks onto the relevant dates, and remember to assign them to team members for accountability. Once a task has been created and scheduled, don't forget to check the checkbox on the checklist. All project-related notes will show up here. Simply create a new page and it will automatically populate in the notebooks database. This keeps all your notes organized and easily accessible. This is where all critical documents for the project are stored. Since files can often be large, it's best to save them in a cloud drive and link them here rather than uploading them directly. This keeps your Notion workspace fast and organized while ensuring seamless access for your team. Documents are sorted with the most recent ones displayed at the top. And that's it for Workspace. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.